So what I'm saying is we need to understand that cosine of 90 minus theta is equal to sine of theta. And we also need to know that sine of 90 minus theta is equal to cosine of theta. I did go over last class period why this works. If you remember, you look at a unit circle and let's see, this one is what we say for cosine, that's 60 degrees, right? And that's 30 degrees. So if you guys remember, this point was 1 half radical 3 over 2. This point is radical 3 over 2 comma 1 half. Right? On your unit circle, you guys remember those? Okay. Well, this angle, remember, is 60 degrees. And this angle is 30 degrees. Right? 